Remember, join us again tomorrow morning for day four, which is uh, the Tower Challenge. One of my favorites. Ropes, stairs, more obstacles, more drama to come, no doubt. More targets. Got to get that breaching ram over the top of that high hurdle. And then they must wait in the box at that door until the sniper has uh, fired his first shot. Gets that first round chambered. <laughs> For the penultimate time on this day three. They are in the pistol pen. First one's finished. No, they're all done. <laughs> and now they can get that uh, tire going. So far, again, face up for the downed officer. It's not as easy as it looks, believe me. the uh, head towards the finish line DGSN from Morocco 
cross it in a time of four minutes 13.8 so as the Moroccans head away I'm still waiting for the Mexicans to bring me that uh, guacamole they promised now this um, first challenge the uh, handgun box it is designated targets they have to hit their own target no limit to their magazine clips today in terms of ammunition each uh, team using different weapons and therefore different magazines in previous days there was a designated number of rounds in each uh, magazine sometimes it was four sometimes it was five depending on which competition but today they can have oh, a four shot clip, so away from the sniper it? Uh, his work is done now it's a sprint up and over the wood wall those rope bags thrown out but yes coming back to the uh, the clips the magazine clips um, and, uh, the 17 rounds right, the officer to be rescued on average some have 15 of course some have 19 I think there are some handguns I'm not uh, mistaken two have, assaulters uh, in the pistol pen 19 rounds of ammunition meanwhile the first two team members are making their way over that ice bath but they probably are going to have to wait and yes, the uh, sound officer pretty good and the carrier so, uh, cross the finish line for the Moroccan Pakistan as we members. cross the four minute mark I think it was just before he hit the ground uh, we saw last year team members twisting ankles uh, just not coming down cleanly from that top of that tower Good morning to you, Caroline. Caroline Buisson. Right. No, yes. they I didn't see. Have they the abandoned team that out disc today? When it, uh, and one of the strongest teams sideways. out today as well. It becomes a very tough target to hit. Yeah, they it's been left on by the looks of it. So that will the, go down um, as a 30 second penalty for Kazakhstani teams. Morocco. After day two of action, they were fifth in the table behind uh, Dubai Police B at the top, Dubai Police A, Kalkan and Ahmad. The Kazakhstanis penalty free so far. Will that be the same case today? Now, they will know exactly what happened with their colleagues earlier on. Sunkar and Sardar and also of Kazakhstan. Are very hot. On making sure they've laying down a very big marker indeed so watch this closely safe. so if they are going to take on the targets of a colleague that they don't just oh. Sadar currently Ooh. lying in second two minutes 37 oh, that Sunka. you can see him Top limping. of the timing tables for today at 234 so keep your table. eye on that clock and just keep in the bottom right corner of your screen that's coming underneath there now this needs to be good it needs to be very good I think he slipped coming over from that wooden SSNA wall. I don't know if it's the same Kazakhstan. guy that uh, fell from while it's coming down from the top of the tower possibly but he was clearly limping there goes the first shot inside that one minute guide that I've talked about all day today yeah. he's gonna hobble across the finish line the get in position remember one lying, one kneeling, two standing. All podiums are at different, differing yes. heights. Uh, another of the Moroccan snipers makes his Is way across the, misses from the finish the, uh, line as sniper. well. I think it might be the current holders of the SWAT Challenge trophy, and that's Akhmat of Russia. So don't go anywhere.
I just want to thank all of those who've supported and sponsored the event again this year, the fifth edition of the UAE SWAT Challenge. The first one was in 2019. The gold sponsors, Al-Badad, Alpha Tame, Lari Exchange, and Inventive 3D, along with uh, Emirates NBD in my Dubai as DGSN of Morocco are up and over the wooden walls So, if you've uh, just joined me, this day two challenge consists of a number of different elements. First up is the sniper, who has to retrieve his gun from the back of that SUV, takes two shots in the lying position, the first of which is the signal for the breaching team to get going. They in turn have to uh, fire a gas canister through that window that you can see in the middle of your screen. And then first up is the submachine gun pen, submachine gun and shotgun pen. The shotgun, a new element, a new weapon introduced this year. And uh, the shotgun carrier still, still in uh, his box trying to hit the target. Meanwhile, once the sniper has completed the long distance target shots, he then moves to the Texas Star, which you can see on the left hand side of your screen there. Five targets to hit. Well, I have to be honest and say this is slow by the Moroccans. We've already crossed the two and a half minute mark and some of the team members are entering that pistol pen just now. The sniper is done however, he's got one of the uh, deadweight dummies across the finish line. Three minutes gone. Just to re remind you, to put it in perspective, Dubai police did this in 1.54 earlier on this morning. And they cross the finish line. One final member still to come. And finally, 341.2 for Morocco. Well, those problems.